Hello and welcome to Volume 344. I'm Mark Graves, just a regular guy fighting prostate cancer, and I'm glad to have you along for the ride. Uh, what is this? Wednesday. Um, and I know there's two videos really close together, but uh, went to my oncologist today. And as I talked to you the other day, oh, I hate it when I do that. I got the air fryer going and I just heard the beep and realized I forgot to put the meat in there. Oh, well. I'll worry about that when I get done. So I went to see my oncologist today, and uh, I really wasn't expecting what I got. He, he was happy with the results of the, the PSA, uh, non-detectable, less than 0 0.04. Testosterone is under 10, so he's all jazzed with all of that. And so we were discussing however things going. Um, the fatigue situation we were trying to work on, he had me get off a of gabapentin to see if that would help. And I gotta tell you, it probably did help just the smallest amount. I'm not positive, but I'll say, yeah, it probably made a little bit of difference. So we started talking about the pain and the, the pain I get in my muscles and my joints, and which at times can be debilitating. There's something about my lower back and my hips, like down into my butt and stuff. Uh, and it's, uh, Kelly has seen it a few times. I go to stand up off the couch or whatever, and I almost hit the carpet. Uh, it gives out on me. So he's not real positive about that. Um, or actually, what he's not positive about is I told him that my primary care physician took me off of Lipitor and said that could be a possible side effect of that. So he, you know, shrugged his brow and, and said, mm, okay, but let's run some tests. So all of a sudden I'm hooked up for, I'm going to have another CT scan. Uh, they're going to scan my spine. Uh, a couple of MRIs coming up with and without contrast, CTs with and without contrast. So they're gonna look, they're gonna look at my chest, they're gonna take a look at uh, my spine, and they're also gonna scan my lower, I don't know what they call that, below your spine. Um, so anyways, those are those are all coming up pretty quick. Um, Kelly and I are leaving for Hawaii on the 19th, so they're gonna squeeze me in for the CT scan before I go. And then it looks like I'm not going to get the MRIs until I get back. Because they had to find a two-hour block uh, to be able to do them all at the same time. And that isn't going to happen until the very beginning. Uh, or, oh, no, very end of July. Sorry, end of July. So I'll get it done. I'll get the CT scan done next week. Then we're gone to Maui for a week. Then we get back. Then, like, three days later, I'm going to have the MRI done. And then we'll get the results on it. So... You know, it's just one of those things. I'm not going to make a problem where there isn't a problem. I'm not going to worry about something until I know there's something to worry about. And the reality of it is, we did talk about today of metastasizing. He said that's probably not a big chance because the PSA is so level and because the testosterone has not risen. Um, but he says you never know. There could be other kinds of cancer. There's just so many things that this could be. And something else that came up during the conversation today is that I may have missed a Lupron injection. Yeah, so my oncologist is with Hogue. My urologist oncologist is with City of Hope. City of Hope normally takes care of my uh, Lupron injections. And because of getting bounced around with the catheter and trying to take that out and stuff, I think we missed one. Um, I did a little research this morning, couldn't find a date for the last one. So I might be overdue as of November of last year. So, yeah, that's not good. But anyways, I'll get that uh, cl uh, clarified and then get that taken care of as well. So anyways, just a quick update, uh, middle of the week. If you would do me a favor, if, if, if you would please, please, whatever prayers you can muster, whatever positive energy you can send out into the universe, whatever good thoughts that you can send, aloha and shaka, as much as you possibly can. And I appreciate you always sending that for me. But if you would today, tomorrow, the next week, please send it to Bob, to my buddy, Bob. Okay. Um, Bob's at a point that I didn't think he was going to be at. Um, he started hospice this week and he is also prostate cancer warrior. So if you would, please, please, um, pray for my friend. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I love you all. And I'll see you on the next video.